Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm at Redwood Town for the More Moreland Cup. So this vlog will be just the two semi-finals between Redwood Town and Redcliffe Athletic Reserves and also Mask United versus Redcliffe Town. Uh, then there'll be another vlog of the third place itself, which will be out the uh, day after this, and then the TFL will be the final. But let's see what happens here. It's one nil to Gisborough. That's just completely missed the goal as I was getting. I was being shown the trophy for the winners and just then the thumbnail. Uh, so I, I don't even know who scored, but yeah, it's one nil. Let's see if the uh, reserves can get back into this. Go on! Oh! <laughs> Come on! Go on! Shoot! Oh, what a save! Half time, it's 1 0 to Gizmo Town. I've seen a lot of golf game footage, all from me uh, this time. So got all the game footage. Uh, so, it have been good. I think we we had to the chances. If this, you know, this is a reserves team. This isn't, see, this isn't such a difficult task for these lads. I mean, it's a difficult task for the first team whenever they play Gizmo Town, but it's just such a difficult task. There's actually a few lads that I really I do know uh, the chance for cracking the place. I watched a lot last season for the first TV. So, uh, I might be getting an interview with manager Steve Simkin, the reserve manager. He's one of these sentimental resulting pipes. Give me an interview. Uh, see what happens in the second half. Hi guys, I'm joined here by the Red Colour Athletic Reserves Captain Josh Cooper. How are you doing, Josh? Very good, very good. Yourself? I'm very good, thanks. Obviously, today was a difficult match for you it was against Gisbert Town. How do you think of the team's performance, went? Uh, really well. I think going into the game, there was a bit of a there was a bit of a buzz that they would sort of put a couple past us, but the fact that it was one nil, uh, the fact that it was only one nil, I think we we made a really good account of ourselves there. Um, getting minutes in the legs, boiling hot day. I think we did really well. Yeah, created quite a lot of chances as well. Certainly did test them. Is, are you proud of that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think we, we had two, especially in the first half, two good chances where we could have probably went in half-time actually in the lead. But, you know, we've got we've got young lads up top um, getting that, you know, men's football experience. Um, the more chances they get, they'll end up taking them. So um, I think we caused them problems. But, yeah, we, we made a good account of ourselves today. Um, we did really well. Going to the, tomorrow, the third place playoff against either the Red Town or Mask. Probably most likely Red Town at the end of the day. Um, but you never know, really, do you? But it would be great to have a Red Card derby tomorrow, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be an interesting game. Um, I think there might be a couple of uh, tackles in there. There was a couple of tackles there as well, a couple mm. of local derbies, which is brilliant. But um, it's great to have these local sort of games um, at pre season, makes it a bit more competitive, a bit more about the game. Um, but you know we've got a couple of first team players playing for us tomorrow mm. with it being on a Sunday so who knows there could be uh, another upset on the cards I think today was a bit of an upset to be honest even though we got beat um, yeah. I think tomorrow could be very similar we could end up winning the game 
and uh, I'm sure he's got given to do, gives you a lot of confidence into that to think against possibly a 10th tier side rather than a 9th tier side today. See, so no offence to Red Catown already, think and if they beat Mask United, fair play to them, obviously. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, it'll be a great test, but pre season's all about getting minutes, um, getting that match sharpness going. Whoever we play, it'll be a great game. Thank you very much for that. No worries, thank you. That was Josh Cooper talking about the Red Catown. I do apologise about the quality, I really hope it's not bad now. Um, I don't know, it's the one of us with quality there. And Tim Luckman, it's bad. Uh, I don't know what happened with quality there, but uh, obviously thank you to Josh for that. Um, very nice of him to join them. Uh, well, actually, thank you for Steve Simkin, the manager, who asked Josh to do it. Um, very thank you for that. And he was matching United Mask versus Red Catown Rides just started. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. We'll have a look we'll see what happens in the second semi final. Uh, 1 0 to Mask United, a good goal right between through the goalkeeper's legs. Uh, not sure who got the goal. Uh, Rob, something I've tried to do. Someone of Mask Boy didn't even know this lady of the lad who's got it. But, uh, so that was not helpful. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't get a camera, but see what happens now. <laughs> Red card for Mask United, the goalkeeper sent straight off a run of, but I didn't get for Jim but it was an instant red card. He took the play, uh, Carl Williams, the striker out, it was a definite red. And it's, that has got an interesting now because I don't know if they have a player on the bench or not. On the bench or not, but that is going to be interesting now. Ooh! Half time, 1 0 to Mask United. Uh, yeah, that, that you'll have seen on my uh, foot from a great chance from town. It's been a good game so far, actually. It has been a good game. Um, as it stands, it will be Red Cup after every service to Red Town. Third best playoff tomorrow, which will be out. Oh, this, that vlog will be out Monday. Right, it's, it's, I've uploaded it on Sunday, I'm sure I will have. Uh, <laughs> but then, the day after that will be. Takes two days from when this video has come out, the final vlog will be out. Uh, so it's part one of part one of three. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens in the second half. Ooh, unlucky. Oh. Right guys, I'm joined here by the Mask United goalkeeper Liam Watson. Liam, I'm sure you didn't expect to play today, but uh, how, do, how do you feel about the performance? Uh, yeah, definitely didn't expect to play. I didn't even uh, bring the kit out, to be fair. <laughs> I, uh, not usually in uh, pre-season games, you don't really get red cards to you, so... But yeah, no, it was... I mean, to be fair, Bricker, Bricker were decent. Um, but yeah, happy with, happy with my personal performance, to be fair, because I didn't concede. That's what it's about, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a bit difficult as well, having not been prepared expected to come on and then having that situation I mean do you admit do you, what's your honest opinion on the red card actually it, it is a red it's a red but um, I just thought like we've been a tournament we've been a friendly yeah. sort of atmosphere I thought they'd just got our yellow card yeah, don't, don't do it again so it'd be a bit unfair <laughs> wouldn't it though really well, it, would, it, be, would be, it would be uh, the Rick Town players were saying that it's there's prize money involved and that's yeah. fair enough but yeah it's one of them things so it happened then obviously I had to step in yeah, and you've got to see a bit as a positive voice up because it costs more minutes then, isn't it? And it's better than not. Yeah, I mean, my, my usual job is kicking the ball at Ryan, do you know what I mean? <laughs> not stopping the ball the other way, so... Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it, to be fair. It was good. Got a bit of a dead leg straight away, like, but... <laughs> and uh, gives me talent tomorrow in the final look yeah. to try and get a, a revenge on what happened at the North Riding Senior definitely, Cup. Definitely, yeah, definitely. So it'll be a good game. We've already played them once this season. Uh, well, this this pre-season. So yeah, it'll be good to play them tomorrow. Look good, forward, luck. Right? good luck for that and thank you for this. Thanks very much. Right guys, I'm joined here by the Redcar Town captain, Joe Bennett. Joe, how do you feel about the performance today against Mask? Um, I think the performance was good. Uh, we gave him a goal, personally. Personally, give him a goal, but complete as well. Uh, we didn't create enough, though, I think. But 1-0 gives the team a few levels above, so can't complain. Yeah, and you mentioned about, of course, just being a quite a few levels above. I'm sure a lot of people definitely would have expected a lot more goals from that mask, but then just one. As a defender yourself, you must be pleased with just conceding the one goal. Ah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he played against Bollies there. Top goal scorer in the FA Cup last season. And he played against lads against like him. So, yeah, done pretty well. 
And the next up tomorrow, of course, Musk is what's it, uh, against Red Cliff Reflect Reserves, who actually just got a 1 0 defeat against Gisborough, which is, I guess, as well in itself is a, is a shock. Both games are. Are you excited for the Red Cliff Reflect Reserves? Ah, yeah. Um, I watched the reserves play. Um, they're a good team. They always have been, and they always will be. Um, yeah, I'm excited for the derby. Uh, it'd be good to get some more minutes in the legs pre-season. I think both uh, teams should, should be pretty confident after results today, shouldn't they, really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It should be a good game tomorrow. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll see what happens tomorrow. Thank you very much for that. Cheers. Because that is the end of the video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed part one of this three-part vlog. Well, vlogs and series. Uh, tomorrow, of course, is the next part two. Is the red card derby uh, between Red Cliff Lake Reserves and Town. Thank you to uh, uh, Josh Cooper, <clears throat> Liam Watson, and Joel Bennett for all featuring the role. Hope that I'm going. I could be having tomorrow. Glenn Butterworth is going to be coming on from uh, Mask United, and I'm sure one of Red Town lads will be joining. And the manager of of Red of Lake Reserves who got me the interview with Josh Cooper. He said he'll make sure that one of the lads in, get in, will give me an interview tomorrow. So there'll be a few more interviews again tomorrow in the next vlog. Um, yeah. So then, please do leave a like and subscribe. Tell me who you think will win the Red Cadabby. Tell me who you think will win the, the final. Let me know down below. Until next time, goodbye.